In this video, I'll be creating a web application to demonstrate the concept of request dispatcher. First, we'll try to understand request dispatching. So basically, it's a technique that allows a servlet or a JSP page to dispatch a request to another resource so that resource can be either a servlet file or a JSP file or a plain HTML file, which will then be responsible for any other further processing that will be generating the final response. So to perform this task of a request dispatching, we are having an interface named request dispatcher. This interface defines an object which receives the request from the client's browser and sends these requests to any other resource such as servlet, HTML file or JSP file. So this interface has two methods. The first method is include method, second method is forward method. Both these methods allow delegating the request response processing to any other resource after the calling servlet has finished any preliminary processing. This is the include method. So it basically allows including the content produced by another resource which can be any servlet file or a JSP file or HTML file in the calling servlet's response. The syntax for the same is given here. So as we can see, this method is having two parameters. The first parameter is an object of servlet request class. Second parameter is an object of servlet response class, which are throwing two exceptions, that is servlet exception and IO exception. This is a flow diagram for include method. So first of all, a client will be sending a request to the first servlet. Then here the first servlet will be making use of include method. The response will be generated by second servlet that response will be included in the first servlet's response by making use of include method. And like this, the final response will be generated. Finally, this final response will be sent back to the client. The next method is forward method. So it basically allows forwarding the request to another servlet, a JSP or an HTML page on the server. This resource then takes the responsibility of producing the final response. This is the syntax for this forward method. So again, this method is also taking two parameters. The first is an object of servlet request class. Second is an object of servlet response class, doing servlet exception and IO exception. This is a flow diagram for forward method. So as we can see here, a client is sending a request. That request will be accepted by the first servlet. Then it will be forwarding the same request to the second servlet. The second servlet will be generating a response. And then finally, this response will be sent back to the client. So here, we'll be using request dispatcher interface to create a servlet which will validate the name of the user and password. If the name of the user is admin and if the password is root, then the user will be forwarded to welcome servlet or else the user will stay on index.html page. Along with that, we'll be also displaying an error message. The software I'll be using for the same is NetBeans ID 8.1 with classes server 4.1. These are the steps for creating this application. So first of all, I'll be creating a new project. Then I'll be editing index.html file. For this web application, we'll be requiring two servlet files. So I need to create two servlets inside source packages folder. And then finally, I can run the project. This is the expected output of this web application. Here is a login form. If the user is entering the correct values, that is name is equal to admin and password is equal to root, then after clicking on login button, the user will be getting a welcome message along with the name. In case if any of these values are wrong, then user will be getting sorry username or password error message along with index.html file. We'll start with the creation of new project. For that, I'll have to go to file, new project, Java web, web application, click on next. The name of my project is request dispatch app. Click on next. This is a default server. Click on next. 
we are not selecting any framework here so click on finish so this is request dispatcher in which we can find index.html so on index.html i'm basically creating a login form so for that this is the heading this is a form tag in which i have taken method whose value is equal to post and action whose value will be the name of the servlet so i'll be creating a servlet named main so this is the first label i have taken that is name in front of which i'll be taking a text field you name is a name given to this text field similarly password is a second label in front of which i'll be taking the password field the name given to this password field is you pass finally i have taken a submit button whose value is equal to login so after the execution of this web application i can find this login form as index.html file is ready let's create the servlet file for that i'll have to go to source packages right click new servlet the name of the servlet file is main serv that is main servlet i'll be keeping the servlet inside package name servlet click on next check this checkbox so that the information will get added to the deployment descriptor and click on finish now on the servlet file along with the basic packages we need to import one more package that is import javax.servlet.requestdispatcher let us try to understand the code for do post method so in do post method i have taken out which is an object of print writer class the printing task is assigned to this particular object two string variables i have taken that is n and p in string variable n i'll be storing the value of u name similarly in string variable p i'll be storing the value of u pass u name and u pass are the two fields which we can find on index.html page so this is my first field with the name u name and this is a password field with the name u pass now as we are validating these two values as mentioned in the question if the value of name is admin at the same time if the value of password is root then here inside if block we are creating an object of request dispatcher by making use of get request dispatcher method so basically this get request dispatcher method returns the object of request dispatcher for the given path here i have given the path as second serve so basically in this application i need to create one more servlet the name of that servlet will be second serve and now here by making use of forward method i'll be forwarding the request to the second servlet by making use of request and response object in case if the name or the password is not matching with the given values then here i am giving this message that is sorry username or password error and again i am creating an object of request dispatcher here by making use of get request dispatcher method i have given the path for index.html file so basically in case of any error first of all this message will get printed and then by making use of include method i'll be including this error message along with index.html file for that the syntax is rd.include request comma response so my main servlet file is ready now let's create the second servlet for that i can directly go to this package servlet right click new servlet the name of the servlet file is second serve this is a package name click on next check this checkbox so that the information will get added to the deployment descriptor and click on finish
So this is the second servlet file in which I'm taking an object of print writer class that is out. Here I'm declaring one string variable name in which I'm storing the value of uname. So basically uname is the name of the text field in which the user will be entering his name. And finally here we are printing the welcome message along with the name of the user. So basically when the username and password is equal to the given values that is uh, username is equal to admin and password is equal to root then the user will be getting a welcome message along with his or her name. So even my second servlet file is ready. We can run this project. For that I'll go to this web application. Right click. Clean and build. So it is giving me build is successful. Now I can right click. And run the project. So after running it is giving me this login form. Let's say name is equal to admin and password is root. After clicking on login button it is giving me welcome message along with the name of the user that is admin. Now let me re-execute this application by putting some wrong values. So here let the name be admin. I'm putting password is equal to ABCD. After clicking on login button here it is giving me sorry username or password error but along with that we can find the index.html file is appearing as it is. Now to avoid this problem what we have to do is in our application inside main servlet we have to set one very important method and that is response dot set contain type. in which I'll be providing text or HTML as the value. So basically to render the output in the HTML format we need to set this method. Now I'll be re-executing the same application. So here I'm providing name as admin and password is some wrong password. After clicking on login, now it is giving me the sorry message along with the proper login form. So response.setContainType method is very important to render the output in the correct format. In this way we can make use of request dispatcher interface along with forward and include method. Thank you.